We all know the importance of learning CPR, but one West Michigan mother really got a reality check. She never imagined she'd need that training to save her own son just days after she learned it. And that mom is with us tonight, Tammy Schneider, and also Roy Shaw, the CEO of Pro Trainings. Thank you both so much for being with us tonight. It's a pleasure. And I want to start with you, Tammy, because this is absolutely a frightening experience. A mother walking in to find out that her son is choking. Can you just walk us through what happened? Sure. Um, they, my family was eating dinner and a normal night and it was kind of funny the way it happened because my, my husband just swallowed wrong and coughed and I said, oh, you are so lucky I just took CPR. Right. And I could save you if you were choking. And that seconds later, my son started to cough. And you had to use that and CPR. And I had to use it. And he, um, first I thought he was just coughing and then the eyes got a little big and the hand went up to the throat and I said, are you choking? And, and he nodded and so instinct kicked in. And Now at that moment, I know you had just taken the training, what, a couple of days before? I'd finished it on Friday and I believe this was a Tuesday, when were, the next were you, Tuesday. Were you actually able to go through that training in your mind mm -hmm. right before? right as this is happening because so many people you take that course I've taken the CPR training and you just the entire time hope you'll never have to use that right, right. were you actually able to stay calm enough to think okay what did I learn what did I have to do <laughs> oddly enough yes it was um, the calm just kind of came over me and once I got over the fact that this was really happening I had to really talk myself into that it was so surreal and so once I realized that there was really an issue I just I told my husband to call 911 and I went behind him and I put him down on the floor and some abdominal thrusts. Put that training to right use. Up. Yeah. Now, Good. Roy, you actually helped put some of this video together to interview Tammy and really make it so that people see this training really works. Let's show a piece of that video if we can. You see, Tammy has a son who began to choke at dinner time. That's when Tammy jumped into action. This video is online so that people can go and watch this and just see a real life story. Talk about, this is also uh, AED week too, right? And it CPR is, it's National week. CPR and AED Awareness Week, yeah. Okay, so when yeah. you see this, why is this video so important? What do you think that this will do? The biggest problem we have is that people don't know what to do before it happens. And so when something happens, not only to a stranger that you might just come across, but somebody that you love and can't imagine living without, the panic is horrible. And so anything we can do to get the word out that they can get trained before something like this happens, and obviously it can be effective and it can make a good ending to a terrible mm -hmm. situation, we're gonna do it. And actually introducing people to a real person, a mom who had to put right. this training to use. And we saw you in the video as well. You actually got emotional at one yeah. point. Yeah. Let's show <laughs> that part of the video. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew what to do. I can't imagine, ha imagine having to go through that, not having that background knowledge. Yeah. That would have been very scary. It was hard. It was. It was very hard. Um, even it's been months now and it's still, uh, I'm just grateful for pro training. I'm grateful that my employer um, required us to do this. Um, it was... Uh, you work for the Kent District I Library? I work for Kent District Library, yes. Um, they, we have nearly 300 employees and they provided this training for us. And this helped you save your son. It did. And there have been a couple of the other um, people that have used it too, besides me, so. Real quick too, Roy, go through some of these tips too so that people know exactly what to do when they're in this kind of situation. Absolutely. Well, first of all, recognizing that there's an emergency, which Tammy did. And then secondly, if there is a true emergency and the person is in trouble, activate EMS or call 911. And then in particular, if it's choking or if it's a cardiac arrest, begin CPR, help will be there in minutes, and keep doing it even if you're not sure you're doing something right. You can't do anything wrong at this point, right? The person's only ultimatum is they're gonna die or stay dead. So being confident that what they're going to do will only help, not hurt, and in this case, it's proof it helped. So very important. Yeah. Roy Shaw with Pro Trainings, thank you so much for joining us it's tonight. Tammy, so glad that your son is okay and thank you. thankful to that training. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your story. <laughs> sure. Sue.